Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I tried talking less last night and it was really boring. Never do it again. Little Z. I'm doing the Wake Me Up When September Ends Challenge. Pop it one. Hello, I'm feeling tight. And Director Cogger. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. <laughs> Pull up, Pirate. Let's bring it back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, for the record, can also confirm Jordan is feeling particularly tight today. Why, Why are you tight? <laughs> you were tighter than usual. What's that about? <laughs> no, like my calf, my calf muscles. I went oh, for calf. I oh, went oh, for a, oh, yeah, I would know. Yeah, okay. I Actually, it was, it was another loose four letter word it. starting yeah. with C. Yes. Right. Uh, tight. <laughs> nice, nice start to the pod. Well, yeah, so, the all right, so for all our returning listeners, because all the new listeners have left already. <laughs> yeah, should we just get right into the in jokes? <laughs> no, nah, I went for a run for the first time in ages and my legs were not ready at all. And they just like, I don't know why the body does this, but it's like, they're still like, it's like my muscles are like squeezing themselves. My calves and my shin that's, muscles. That's how they contract. Yeah, yeah but why don't they just relax? Because you're running. No, but now, no, 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 now they're relaxed. No, I'm saying no, I'm saying they hurt now. Oh, they're tight now. They're, context, it's like they're squeezing. Jordan's sitting down. I am yeah, sitting audio down. Listeners. Audio listeners. He's <laughs> not jogging on the spot, which and he I, usually does. I ran the pods. two days ago. Should we start like a what standing podcast for like, do you know people have standing desks? Ow. Yeah. We Can do. you guys stop being children? <laughs> Jackson. I was feeling his calves. Feeling my calves. I don't feel that tight, if I'm honest. Well, they, no, I want to touch them too. No, it didn't look consensual. You know what? Yeah, we have to sit down and do the pod. Whereas, like, personally, I like listening to podcasts when I, like, walk around. Of course, I only listen to the Underdogs podcast. Yes, but, of uh, So, people that are being active right now, good on you. Why don't we all just stand up for a bit? Yeah, let's stand. Fuck it. Okay, I'm standing. Do the headphones reach? Or no, they don't. No, they don't. I'm sitting well, back. Oh, can, well, this will do. I can do, like, a bent over stand that really hurts Yeah, my that was back. really fun, you guys, but I'm going to stay seated. <laughs> <laughs> You're lacking commitment, Zach. Enjoy your hemorrhoids. Uh, so, why did you decide to go for this spontaneous run? Because I hadn't run in a while. I guess is the reason. <laughs> it's like, uh, as soon as I started doing jujitsu, it's like I've been exercising but inside and I've been missing like the, the world. I've been inside too much. I like exercise inside. I come back home. I do YouTube inside. And I was like, I need to go outside. Why don't you just do your jujitsu outside? That's, that's not how it works. Why not? Just have like a roll in the grass with the boys? <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> why not? How, why does it not work? All, what is the equipment you need? Uh, mats. Put it outside. Okay, well, yeah, I could tell the gym to get it outside, but so it's like a, I'm I'm low on the food chain, you know. <laughs> if you go to your your actual gym, be like, guys, let's just move all this equipment outside. They're gonna say no. Yeah. Your membership. If Jordan yeah, yeah. suggests going outside, they're gonna choke him out. They're gonna fucking tackle him to the floor. <laughs> Is that how they settle debates in the jujitsu? Like, yeah, community? they all just kill each other. Are you gonna sit down? <laughs> Peter is still standing. Well, I'm not being even healthy, standing. idiots. How Peter- would you describe it, Zach? <laughs> like a hunched over. Looks ready to get pegged. If I'm it's like okay, I'm sitting there. We go. <laughs> there we go. We got him down. What? So what happened last night? You were talking less. Yeah. So I had frisbee, and I was like, I'm always talking way too much. Yeah. Like I'm like Donkey from Shrek. I just never shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like everyone yeah, else. Is, I've noticed that. <laughs> everyone else is the, the no, but in this group we're all donkeys. Yeah. So have, this is a, a podcast of donkeys. It, for donkeys. It checks out. We're just a bunch of donkeys. Maybe, maybe Jackson's our biggest Shrek, but he's still mostly donkey. I was Shrek. You're oh, mostly donkey, but you're sorry, the sorry, Shrekiest yeah. donkey. Yeah, yeah. In this group, I I'm think the Jackson's Shrek. more of a puss. But in my in my oh, in, in, in the boots. in the real world, there's a lot of Shreks. Yeah. You know, like there's not quite as many donkeys as there are Shreks. That's why people watch Shrek. I've said Shrek and donkey a lot of times. No, I love this analogy. It's why when people you watch Shrek, they're going. like, "Wow, isn't donkey a funny little guy?" That's not like anyone I know. Yeah. There's a lot of Shreks in the world, and that's why it's a relatable movie. Yeah. Oh, because you, you so, see yourself as Shrek when you watch the movie. Yeah, you're like, you know, maybe I should be a bit more of a donkey, of a donkey, and less of a Shrek. Shrek. Oh. So wait, and maybe I'll find my Fiona then. Did we mention Shrek? Wait, I'm the last. So Who's Shrek? I'm more you, Shrek in real life. Though. Let's. So you watch the first Shrek movie, and most people think like this donkey that's following him and just talking constantly. They're like, "Wow, he's so annoying." But you sort of saw him as the, your hero character. No, like no. He's the protagonist. It wasn't my hero character. I was just like, oh, 
I'm annoying. Wait, did, so did you watch Shrek? I missed that. I have watched Shrek many times and it's committed to memory. But not recently. No, no, but I don't need to watch it recently. Right, I know right. it word for word. You can just watch it anytime yeah, you want. I can, I can, Why don't I yeah. have 37 minutes of the movie again? <laughs> That's a nice boulder. <laughs> You're such a donkey. You're such a donkey. <laughs> right. So I realized I was really annoying and I talked too much. And so I was like, what would happen if I stopped talking in a group of people where nobody talks? You went for the Shrek. I went for the Shrek. Yeah. Ooh. And other people turned into donkeys. It was crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Something Whoa. Could be social the donkey. experiment. It, it was a great social experiment. And it was so boring. Why? Because you had to hear what they think. No, think? because it's like for the first like 10 minutes, nobody said anything. And yeah. it was just like... And then someone says something that's like clearly, clearly the biggest sexual innuendo I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, do you do you remember what it was? No, I can't remember because I I didn't respond to it. I didn't, it doesn't commit yeah. to memory. And they I was said, just like, I'm so tight. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And I'm like, just like trying to keep a straight face, don't say anything. And then yeah. nobody else picks up on it. And I'm like, come on, guys, give me a donkey. <laughs> I bet it was like the least sexual <laughs> innuendo that you've ever heard. Someone will be like. Oh, like, uh, you want to throw that over here? It's just like, oh, <laughs> fucking throw back that ass. <laughs> like, I think it was, I think it was someone who was like, if I haven't talked to you yet, uh, please come. Oh, and they didn't wow. elaborate. They were like, please come over here. It was just like, please come. And I was like, that's funny. <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> come on, guys. That's a, that's a nice boulder. But then when they started turning into donkeys, was it better? Was yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might repeat it many times. I think, I'm, I think I'm going to do this more often where I just talk way less. So if oh. I don't say anything for the rest of the podcast, uh, it's because I'm letting you guys be donkeys. Yeah. Wow. It reminds me of an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm I saw where they're talking about like people... Wait, what's Curb Your Enthusiasm? It's I've heard a, the name. Yeah, it's a TV show. It's the one that always ends with... Bom, bom, bom. Oh, like fictional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like a lot of improv, but then they're... The scene's based around, like, these these boring people get put in the middle of, like, a dinner table. Oh. And it's like, oh, you can't be, like, the middle person at a dinner table. Like, you don't talk enough. Like, you can't hold conversations. Well. Oh, that's funny. And it's like the main character, Larry, is, like, saying how, like, he's a middle person at the dinner table. Because he can, like, you know, you, like, talk across the table yeah. with multiple different people. You, like, sort of control the conversation a bit more, I guess. I've definitely had that happen to me recently. I, I totally get it. It's like two really boring people get put in the middle and they're just talking about shit that no one cares about. But like uh, a conversational wall. Yeah. Interesting. Good yeah. Episode. So I would highly recommend it. If you're a person who's normally a Shrek, be a donkey. If you're normally a Shrek, be a, if you're normally a donkey, be a Shrek. Um, yeah, donkey's on the end of the table now. Yeah. Shrek's give it middle. a try. Ooh. Let let the other people come out of their shell a bit. Let them be because you'll force them to do it because someone's got to do it. Yeah. Someone's got to talk. <laughs> Is that good though? It's like some, just everyone's silent and then it's like, well, someone's got to talk. Then someone's like, oh, they're just like, oh, I washed the dishes yesterday. I mean, <laughs> the quiet, someone has nothing to talk the about. The quiet people usually have more to say just by the fact that they've said less in general. So oh, the yeah. average thing Potent- they say is more like interesting. Like like yeah. potential energy is stored. Whereas I'm just like a constant stream of diarrhea out my mouth. You know, it's just like, because it's just like my best story of the week's been used up 10 times already. You know, yeah. it's like, and then the quiet person just has like, an, you know when the quiet person has a ripper joke? Does that ever happen? And you're yeah. just like, God damn, like what the hell? They've been crafting it for minutes. Exactly. No, years. <laughs> oh, years. Minutes. You are like in, in the conversation. Minutes, right. you're yeah. thinking like a donkey. Minutes, these people don't talk like for an entire two hour session of Frisbee. Oh, no, I'm more similar to that in real life. I think because I get all my juice out like in YouTube and then I'm like, like oh, my brain juice. No, I relate to that. Do you get what I mean? I relate to yeah. that a lot. Because like, well, I guess you stream a lot more than me. It yeah. More for me, but like, it's like t- you talk a lot to a camera and then like I'll go to my family dinners and I'm probably like the quiet, the quietest person there. Yeah, that's Because my I mean. family all talks a lot. And I think I used to talk more, but now I'm like more happy to just like, sit back and now I'm the one waiting 20 minutes and then I have my one ripper <laughs> joke and no one gets my sense of humor except for me. Yeah, because I guess like everyone wants to share their thoughts, but then we share our thoughts like all day. And then you like get to the family gathering and all these people are like, oh man, people I get to share my thoughts to. Yeah, like I think this? it's just the, the bar of the people you're willing to share your thoughts with is different because I was going to say, not everyone wants to share their thoughts. I'm like, no, they do. Just their circle of people they want to do that with is much smaller. Yeah, yeah. Smart. Whoa. So you're going to be a, don- a, a Shrek? Boy. Shrek. Yeah, I think the, so. That's the takeaway. Shrek away. Peter. Ah, good just, on you. Yeah, it's, it's just Shreeter. a funny thing to see. It's just a funny thing to see. And then someone came up to me and they were like, oh, but aren't you afraid that people will think you don't like them if they're like trying to like kind of 
have a like a yeah, bit of I banter. I get off that and vibe a lot, apparently. And I and then I thought I'm like, wait a minute, this is what everyone else has been doing to me all these years. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. about fucking time they <laughs> have a turn. Wondering if I like them rather than the other way around. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm sick of it. So who who said that to you? Oh, I was just talking to someone after the session about this. Some, like one of my more close friends on the team. I was just like, they were like, why weren't you talking to me in the war? I was like, You're oh, like I'm, doing I'm this Shrek. Thing. I'm, Shrek. <laughs> I'm being Shrek. I'm imagining Peter. Peter was quiet for 10 minutes, then spent the rest of the two hours talking about how much of a donkey he is. <laughs> guys, I was just quiet for 10 minutes. And you guys were all talking, oh, you guys are all Shrek. I'm a donkey. Oh. Pretty much. That's the donkey. Thing. You're the donkey, aren't you? What? Uh, at, at home. Yeah. How's that? It's fine. Wow. It's pretty good. <laughs> so is your girlfriend the Shrek? Definitely. That's hot. 100%. <laughs> nope. Clip, clip that. We got him. Send it to Brooke. <laughs> your girlfriend's a Shrek. Oh, shit. That doesn't really bode well, does it? So do you guys not get... um? As, oh, I guess you don't do as much YouTube in terms of just sharing all the time as maybe me. You would be by far the most. You yeah. stream and you record all the time. That Jordan, what's sense. the most personal thing you've ever shared on stream? Most per- and, and do it again. Maybe, yeah. Maybe cancer. Maybe... Oh, yeah, that's... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, can't think. I don't think Jordan really has any bounds of what he will share, so he can't really think of any of them. Yeah, you talked about I'm pooing trying. yourself, which yeah, I'll keep to myself. myself. Um, um, oh, I was talking about on my last stream how I gave Holly's anniversary... Pr- you were there that was for good. that. I gave Holly... Uh, an- it was our anniversary. I gave her a present of Lego. Um what type and of Lego? It was like it was like the London skyline kind of thing. Ooh, Not ma- yeah. you're probably picturing Matt. It was like kind of small. Yeah, is it like oh. sort of this big? Yeah, like like the it's the size of maybe oh, my one shin. foot long. One foot long. Oh, a foot long. Yeah, or well, shin long. Um, or one of your tight calves. Yeah, one of my tight calves. To- and then because um, I went to the Lego store, and then they had like Paris, they had London. I was like, oh no, I know that she went to. It. Paris with her ex, so I'm not going to get her that. Even though so I, smart. I know she likes Paris more, so it's like a bit of a weird. Thing. What would you do? I think I'd go London, play it safe. Yeah, play it safe. So I got her. You the- don't want her to finish building the Lego. She's like, oh, that's where we had sex. Yeah, behind exactly. the bushes yeah. near the Eiffel Tower. So I got her to the London. I was like, I didn't get you Paris. I know you like Paris, but I know you went there with your ex. You didn't say that, did you? I did. I said that. Oh, okay. honesty, best policy. And He's a simple man. She, and then she said. I went to London with my ex as well. <laughs> oh no! Well, she did a lot of traveling with his ex. I know she went to a private school. They must uh, have, you know, had some. We've never gone traveling. Yeah, ever. why not? I don't know. Jordan didn't go to a private school. <laughs> We're gonna go to Japan. That'll be our first time on a plane. Yeah, but yeah, and then I was like, oh, and she was like, because it was like there's like a Ferris wheel or something in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, the yeah, London we Eye. went right here, and I was like, oh. Nice. <laughs> so she did. And then, well, not the sex part, but she did well, point you know, out. I like, I mean, they're pretty private boobs in there. You never know. Yeah, I don't oh, know yeah. what happened there. And so I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, oh, it's all right, though. And then yesterday we returned it. What? <laughs> it was not all right. Wait, yeah, it was, no, because she was like, I'm going to be honest. I can't make, I can't keep this in my room. I was just like, <laughs> it'll just be there. So then we. Maybe you guys should go to London. We traded it for some Lego flowers, which would have been a much better idea. If oh, I got he'd that. probably get her flowers at some point too. A much safer cool. play. Yeah, did he get her flowers? Did you ask? No. What? Oh, did he get her? Oh, right. Yeah, she gets her flowers. She's like, oh, a daffodil. No. Just like my, <laughs> my ex gave me. Jordan, you better stop buying Lego before she gets to I you. Like, nostalgic. It ends up fucking leaving her entire back to room. Him. Just reminds her of her ex. <laughs> There's this, so for context though, during the stream where he told the story and I heard it, he spun the wheel as Jordan tends oh, to do yeah. Yeah. and it lands on tell a joke, <laughs> tell, tell a joke. And then Jordan, he's like, so for my anniversary, and he tells this whole story. That was the and joke. I was trying to be a stand up comedian. And he, yeah, he's trying, he's like, I'll do a bit of stand up comedy for you. Right. And, and then she says, I've been there with my ex too. It's like, Jordan, oh. that's not a punchline. That's like, pretty, it's, no, it's, I was trying it's, to think of a punchline. It's not a punchline line. when you're streaming and you can't hear like any laugh. <laughs> it's definitely a bit of an awkward... And then all the chat were just typing ha-ha's in capital letters just and, sarcastically. And, no, and then they, my chat always like posts just pictures of tomatoes, like they're throwing tomatoes at me. <laughs> Damn, man, are you okay? <laughs> no. Everyone's bullying you. But uh, I was trying to think, there was a joke somewhere about Big Ben. You came up with it. Yeah, like, yeah, I, 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 then I typed oh, a chat. Did the yeah. Yeah, you yeah, could have called yeah. her ex a big bender. Because that's like an insult in London. I was too. I was saying uh, she she could have said like, oh, I've already been there. I saw Big Ben and Big Tom <laughs> and Big Alex. <laughs> By the way, my girlfriend's got around. <laughs> so that, that's the joke. Right. That's, Good one. that's the joke. Thanks for laughing, everyone. 
Yeah, but it's not easier to make it. that joke about someone else's girlfriend beat up. <laughs> well, it's his fucking Imagine story. He Jordan didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> no, I was trying I mean, to Jordan come up with a joke. Jordan was like, this is my funny story. Where's the punchline? Yeah, Jordan's punchline is, yeah, my girlfriend has got around. Like, it's called a joke. Anyway, find out where your exes have, well, no, where your girlfriend's exes, where you, mm, you know. Do some research. Just get flowers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story is stalk everyone from your girlfriend's past. Oh, Jordan, I've got some really bad news because we're oh, going no. to Japan together, but me and Dolly. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. It's a bit of a situation. Not really. It was more funny. It was just I think like, Jordan does not care enough. See, Jordan's a sweet a child. Totally He's never been true. hurt. Yeah, we're both pretty chill. It was just like a funny situation where it's like, she felt bad, cause, but it's just like so something did, you can't. How not. did she present this information to you? Was she like, come over? She's like laughing. She's like, Jordan, oh, we've got to return. Yeah, this. it was like it was like a day or two days later, and she, and she like it was still just in the box. Uh, are you walking past going, you gonna build that? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any second, we're gonna build that. And uh, she was like, you know, she's I, crying every piece she puts on. <laughs> she, she was like, I think, I think we need to return this. So I was like, yeah, okay, we'll return it. And then I was like, oh, I don't have the receipt actually. So, like, oh, okay, well, we'll keep it. So it was a bit awkward. It. No, but then we found the receipt. Oh. But it was that story is a roller coaster, bro. You're, you're good at storytelling. <laughs> it was that awkward I moment you know where what? she was like, okay, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say I, I can't have this gift. Yeah. I, like, otherwise, she probably would have like kept it to herself, maybe if she knew. Yeah, it's like reluctantly building it, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, oh, we got the receipt. It's fine. So she's like, oh, okay, good. Good then, communication. Then, we, then we respect that. Then we couldn't find the receipt. And then it's a bit awkward again because it's like, oh, now we've got to keep it. And then she's got to be like, you could oh, have just fine. sold it shortly. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I would have bought it off you. I would have bought oh. it. Oh, there you go. Anyway, London. If that happens I bet, again. I bet Holly didn't actually go to London with her ex. She just wanted like the Lego she Death Star. The, yeah. She <laughs> wanted an upgrade. <laughs> she did when we went back to the Lego store because you can exchange it for anything. She walked over to the Star Wars section, but oh, it's all no so way. expensive. She also watched and Star Wars she... with her ex, so it's no good. <laughs> no, she, just watched, she hadn't seen it. She just watched that oh, with me. Oh, let's go. So good call. That is what, experience. Yeah, she went there. She was looking at the Star Wars. Yeah. Splash it's like, out. It's like a thousand bucks for anything did in Star Wars. you get Star a, che- like a cheap Star Wars? No, we didn't get Star Wars. Oh. They got I flowers. thought she was trying to upsell you. No, no, we got flowers. We got flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, right. the Star Wars ones are pretty sick, though. They're pretty detailed. They're insane. Yeah, the Death Star one's so cool. Me and Maddie actually played with Lego yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah. You play? like you? So the f- maybe like, the first Hello. time in like... No, not like that. Maybe the first time in like, what, like 10 years? I don't know. I enjoy but that more than building. I recently got a big tub of Lego from my mum and dad for the yoga video we did, where we did yoga on Lego. Mm. Mm. Um, and then, so I have this big tub of Lego, and then I've never really done, like, you know, like building just stuff from scratch with Lego. Oh, yeah, like your creativity. Yeah, well, not since I've been a kid, but I like yeah. watching Lego Masters. So we sort of tried to do that. We both tried to make a dinosaur in, like, 45 minutes. That's sick. And mine was pretty shit. Maddie's was better than mine, but yeah, it was fun. That's fun though, a bit of creativity. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the follow along and you just like... Oh, I'm with way... The I love that. Same with oh, cooking. Really? I love a recipe. Making it from like with nothing. Oh yeah. Is awful for me. I'm instructions. I get into a zone. That's just me. The I just Lego feel like I'm a like Chinese factory worker. Like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, like, okay. I'm like, why do I like? What's the? This is just work. Yeah, Wait till you hear point. where Lego comes from. Yeah, exactly. This is just labor. Like they could have just made it there. What no, do I need to make it? That's the fun. fun. Yeah, but where's the fun? Well, I guess we're different. I'm with you, Jordan. I'm with you, Jordan. Like, yeah, you don't get to use your brain juices for anything. You're just like, <laughs> I like doing it as fast as I can. Would you like jigsaw puzzles? Yeah. Do you like jigsaw puzzles? Mm, they're all right. I hate that shit. But you, you, you at least got to use your brain to figure it out. You yeah, know, true, barely. It's just co- it's just trial and error. There's no like working it out. It's just like yep. there's like one strategy, which is build the borders first. Yeah, it is. yeah, That's yeah. Nice. All right, now just go through the Let's pile. See if this works. Yeah, Holly I'm and I sure were like, if you go to like R slash Jigsaw, there's so many strategies. That's true. They've yeah, like nah. got fucking like measuring tools to find nah, out. It'd which be like are... divided into color, maybe. But no, I don't. I don't like jigsaw that much. Holly and I went to do it one time, and then we we're like, "Oh, this is enough." Yeah, I did my ex. Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put in the last piece, and then it's like, "Oh, the London skyline." <laughs> <laughs> no, 
you couldn't tell what it was. Until <laughs> <laughs> the last piece goes in. The last piece is Holly and her boyfriend, like from long distance, <laughs> just standing on top of Big Ben, smiling and waving. Oh, that actually would be oh, so no. funny. What a prank. Imagine giving someone a custom made jigsaw of a pitch they really don't want to see. <laughs> and they have no idea what it is until they've made it. It's like, here's a gift for you, and it's just something unhinged and cursed. You gotta like hide the last piece. You know how one piece always goes missing in a jigsaw? Yes. But it's you hide it, and then that one piece is like Them. really fucked up. Or you could like write like, I know you cheated on the last piece and you like put it in. <laughs> that would make a great YouTube video. Mm, that is Fellas, good. if any of us get cheated on, you know what to do. That's Wait, hilarious. so what's, what's the video? Uh, I make exposed your girlfriend. my girlfriend for cheating by making a custom jigsaw and it's it spells it out. Long title, yeah, but you, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and you I'm put, clicking. You put the last piece in and that's how she finds out. It's she surely won't work it shame out. Shame you can't put the pieces of the relationship back together. Oh. oh. Funny video. So, though. You know how one yeah. piece always goes missing, you know? I've oh, been one watching piece. One Piece. <laughs> I knew. Oh, no. I knew no. no. <laughs> Have yeah. you still been watching it? Any good? Uh, I finished the live action one. Rate it out I'm of 10. I'm not going to watch the anime. Out of 10? Uh, like a Zach reviews seven or eight. It's pretty good. Oh, like that's seven, not that good. Seven. I give it a one piece. <laughs> uh, anyway, <Oof>. <laughs> <laughs> stick to uh, being a Shrek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back to Shrekking. Sorry, <laughs> we got some science questions from the fans that I think Jordan's going to help us answer. Wait, what? do you not know this? No. <laughs> oh, well, science. that's the segment this week. Shouldn't I said, Peter be helping? Uh, if you want to, if you want to answer some of these questions, underdog. No, patreon.com slash underdogs pod. We asked for some science questions. So here's what I said to the Patreons, Jordan. I thought, you know, we've got a smart man in this room. Peter. We need to use it. No, no, we've got you. Peter's all right, but he's being a Shrek today. Otherwise, he'd help. (laughs) I can help. I'm a donkey and I'm smart. (laughs) I said, as you all know, we are blessed to have a science expert, Jordan Ridley, on the podcast every week. Leave your science questions below and we'll get Jordan to answer them on the podcast. So here we go. We've got 60 <laughs> questions, Jordan. I might be the best We're not answering all of them. No, we're not. Well, we, <laughs> Maybe we, quickly. We could. A rapid fire. I'll be able to solve them quickly, so, you know. <laughs> they will be rapid Give fire. us a minute. Give us a all minute. All right, here we go. From Jordan SL. Hold on. It just moved all the way down. Jordan SL, sorry, George SL asks, how do species evolve? I mean, I see the similarities between Jordan and an ant, but the rest <laughs> makes no sense. Well, they just... So they're all a bit different and then the ones that survive have sex and then they make more of them. Nailed it. You know, everyone's a bit different. Like one of us, no, <laughs> someone that has autism and then it's like <laughs> one of them will survive. Stop. Stop here. One of them will be better and then that's a new one. Better? What does that mean? Can you try that again? Like Sorry. humans are different. Peter. And then Shrek. Shrek. Let's say someone that has really long legs. Yep. And the long Me. legs people just keep banging everyone. Because like, oh, long legs. True. That's so That's, good. That happens, yeah. Yeah. True. And then there's got to be more long legged people. Right. That's how it is. Well, that is why um people with lactose intolerance exist in like Western societies, I think. No, More. sorry, lactose tolerance. Oh, you know, like yes. everyone is lactose intolerant Not in me. like other parts of the world, but apparently in like the English society, some people were like tolerant to cow's milk. Then they were like, "Oh, this cow's milk's lit," and so like more and more people became tolerant <laughs> to it. And then now most people, now we say it's lactose intolerance when really that is the predominant thing worldwide. Oh, is that why when you go to places that have nice pasta, you don't get sick? Yeah. Mm. We went to Turkey and ate so much like unpasteurized goat cheese and it was like crazy good. Then I drink like one sip of milk here and I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I think I nailed it. What are you giving Peter? Peter's going to be judging these responses out of 10. Come on, Trek. Uh, didn't explain speciation, how they stop being able to breed with each other. So that's when the species kind of thing, like you've, you've explained variants within a population. Whoa. But then like, how do you get to the point where you're a different animal? Um, Translation, your answer didn't wow. have enough layers. So it gets a one out of, out of ten, what does it get? <laughs> um, uh, it gets a two. It explains some evolutionary things, wow. but not really it's the pretty point. Good. Harsh ju- two out of ten, I that's mean, not pretty good. You really asked me to be Shrek and then asked him something that's literally my degree that I said it for three <laughs> and fucking half years, so it's really tough, but here we are. All right, uh, next one. Yeah, how, how about you? Peter as an eye judge? <laughs> No. All right, fine. <laughs> Sounds good. For this one. Um, let me just get a nice and hard one for him. 
<laughs> okay. What would happen if wait, the wait, Earth... Wait. <laughs> None of us donkeys are going to jump on that innuendo? He said a nice hard one for Oh, him. jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's Riding being a Shrek today. Cowboy. <laughs> All right, Shrek. How, can you explain in the most scientific way... No, sorry. What would happen if the Earth stopped spinning for one second? I feel like the inertia from because of the conservation of momentum, the inertia of the atmosphere, the entire atmosphere would just make a giant hurricane, basically, and would all basically get thrown up into a giant storm. Mm. It would just be like the most turbulent. It's like, you know, turbulence on a plane. Mm. It'd be like that times a billion. And then we'd all just get absolutely ripped off the face of the earth. And if you're not in a bunker, your house is gone. So you're going to die. Yeah. I think it'd be pretty bad. That sounds like a pretty good answer, but we'll hear from our judge now. Look, I'm going to have to give it a two out of ten. <laughs> yeah, so I think I saw that coming. <laughs> now make it a 1.9. 1.9, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> 1.99. He just really couldn't get the job done. Surely everyone, you, everyone's faces would, like, everyone would smush. <laughs> ten. You forgot ten to mention on Jordan. <laughs> you forgot to mention that. Like, make sure you're sitting next to all the single guys out there. Make sure you're sitting next to a really hot girl. And then the earth stopping might just smush right into yeah, her. It'll make the move for you. Don't need to put your arm around them at the movies. Imagine or anything. you're about to put your arm around and then the earth stops for a second. You're just yeah, be dead. You both fly into the wall and sure. die. Yeah, surely everyone instantly dies getting smashed into something. Nah, the astronauts wouldn't. Okay, yeah, other re- than them, they'd yeah. They'd have to procreate and make everyone again. True. Hopefully there's like a like There'd be enough people in like penis and vag up there. <laughs> Caves and stuff. Adam and Eve up there. Yeah. <laughs> doing God's work. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Um, like in space, we got to. That's probably how many astronauts are in there. That should be there? a rule, actually. What's well, that? we always need enough people in space. Then it should be enough, maybe two penises, two vagers. How up there. would you ever know when the girl comes though? Because <laughs> in space is up there, oh. <laughs> doing a presentation. Right, guys, we're going to need two penises and two vagers. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it should always be Our there. Top scientists have, had, have told us in these specific terms. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's a risk, you know. So unnecessary yeah, okay, risk. so if the earth does stop for a second or any other natural disaster happens, we need to have two penises and two vagers. Yeah. Wait, why two? Well, I just thought double your chances. Yeah, but Adam and Eve. Yeah, we but that was, one of each. that was pretty lucky. Oh, okay. My bad. In yeah, my what age. if, like, Adam had erectile dysfunction? Exactly. <laughs> it would be all over We would not then. be here, Peter. It's <laughs> a good point, sorry. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you're the one in space, they'd probably screen you for erectile dysfunction. Yeah, probably. What if Adam... True, you'd um, have to do some tests. You'd be the you ultimate Giga Chad and they'd shoot you into space. <laughs> Wait, so would it be we need two penises and two badges or one high-quality penis and one high-quality vagina? I think the two and two is better because what if, like, I don't know, maybe they're about well, they to have both sex got and erectile they, dysfunction. The Earth explodes and they freak out and have a heart attack. They die up there. What about well, the incest that comes after? You could make another girl with the ribs, it right? Is what it That's is. the thing. Girl with the ribs? What? Adam's rib. That's how they made Eve. So you really Who? just need one guy and some ribs. I what? actually don't understand. Some spare ribs. What that's, happened? That's the Bible. They took Adam's rib and that's how they made Eve. How? Apparently. From his rib. That's the thing. Like cloning. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe actually what's cloning. Maybe that's what they wrote down. We got confused. They wrote that down? Yeah. Also, I, just on that thing of having people in space, there's actually not the worst thing I've ever heard. Like, because I, I, heard, I heard this thing of, I think it's the, <laughs> I think it's Denisovans. I can't remember. It's a type of ancient human similar, like Neanderthals are a type of ancient human right. that aren't our species. And they just lived on one island. And then one day, a vol- the volcano on the island went off and they all died. Yeah. And now the earth is our island. And we could have a, a volcano, in inverted commas, like you Dinosaurs. could get hit by a gamma ray burst by the sun. Yeah. So it'd be nice if we could have people somewhere else yep. to continue the species because that's what happened to them and they're not alive anymore. Yeah, we got to get on Mars. We got to hey, get out there. So not not a bad point, Jordan. Thank you. Well done. Terribly Peter. phrased though, but two not a bad point. Two penis <laughs> You should get a shirt. Well, I don't want to say boys and girls because now, you know, boy might just be... All vagina. I think you can say male and female, but I'm not even sure if that's right. So you, you uh, maybe play it safe. Oh, you were being very literal with it in that sense. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, next question. Uh, Do you want to turn, Zach? What? Answering the science Yeah, Um, Yeah. Peter and I will be the judge. (laughs) Real quick, this is going to get cut out, but I thought it was a funny joke that got cut off before. I was saying, like, how would you know if she comes? Because in space, no one can hear you scream. Oh. Rate that out uh, out of repeating it and not repeating it like I just did. I wouldn't have repeated it, but it is a pretty good joke. I'll give it an eight, seven. So seven would be a worth repeating, Peter. Mm. Sorry, I'm Shrek. It's a two. Yeah, that's fair. 
<laughs> Stop the podcast for that. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> to a All right, I reckon we phrase this one like it's going to be a TikTok. All right. <laughs> hey Zach, how are CDs and USB sticks? Can you talk normally? <laughs> Start again. Yeah, don't, I don't do them. It's just talk much, like a normal it's human. Too it's too hard to. <laughs> hey Zach, how are USBs and s- oh, fuck? <laughs> Ew. Hey Zach, how are CDs and USB sticks able to store memory? It seems like magic to me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> TikTok. That is a tough one. What? Dude, it's so fucked up. It makes no sense. It makes no oh. sense. Like literally, like Thank the God Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi makes no sense. In the air. It makes no sense. Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> I don't know. He's right. I don't like, know. We are just sitting here in this room. These cameras, like the wire kind of makes sense. The camera grabs it through the wire to the computer. Oh. Then the computer goes, airtime, baby. And through the air, it flies to the fucking America through the whole air. And then like, in America, yeah. you're sitting down with your little, your little what? The size of a hand. And then the air goes, woo, I'm air, but I'm telling you I'm Jordan and, and I'm talking. Yeah, it's and it's like, like, you get that within two seconds from here. It's so fucked. That's crazy. <laughs> Technology is amazing. It's um, fucked. I can hear Taylor Swift's voice in my ear at whatever volume I want. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Great example. <laughs> um, I think it's all zeros and ones. Brilliant. And that's why I'm giving you a response. <laughs> 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 but the <laughs> Wi-Fi, I think, is all like frequencies. Yeah, but it's crazy. and it'll be like it'll be like Morse code, but so fast and in frequencies or something. It is crazy. But how do we get to just see it then? How do we hear Taylor Swift's voice in my ears? Really puts the why in Wi-Fi. <laughs> why does it work? Why does Fi it? Why does it happen? It is insane <laughs> and it's like, I feel like we need to celebrate it more. Should we do a celebration? Just to give a PSA for everyone out there, just say thank you to Wi-Fi. Guys, make sure to appreciate Wi-Fi today. Um, in fact, just have fun. <laughs> Can we start pronouncing it wifey so that we sort of cover cover two bases? (laughs) We're like, it's wifey appreciation day. (laughs) Sorry, Zach, you're trying to talk to Jackson who's having a meltdown at what Jordan's saying. You guys can't put me on the spot. (laughs) You took over that answer. He didn't put you on the spot. No, he said... You put you on the spot. He said, look at the camera and say a PSA. Yeah, Yeah, I did do that. But you said we should do one. Yeah, I think we should. Putting you on the spot is my favourite pastime <laughs> in the world. I don't know why it breaks me. You like, can talk normally if you're not put on the spot. Like, in a way, you're always put on the spot. Like, when I ask you a question, like, why do you feel like that? You're put no, on but the spot. I'm never forced to think in a way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I definitely agree with that. <laughs> yeah. It's like too I'm much just, pressure. Yeah, when I'm, you ask Jordan a question, he goes, oh, I've just never thought about it, and that's his answer. And yeah. you're like, oh, fuck, so exactly. we'll think about it. Well. Can I, can I have a different science question? Yeah, that, I, was a that, was, that is a really hard one. I would have no idea. I didn't even know where to start. <laughs> like trying to answer it or like trying to make something up. It just... It's also says Professor Jordan. I'll change to Professor Zach. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. Professor Zach, what do you think is preventing us from achieving... Dr. Zach, to you. You, you, you do not have that qualification. <laughs> you don't even have a professor. I'm, I'm really putting you out of the way. Okay. All right. Person Zach, what do you think is preventing us from achieving the ability to time travel? Um, it's not possible. Correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do not think it's possible. Maybe if they do the like bendy thing and you poke a pencil through the paper and it's like a wormhole, maybe that. But really, you can only go forwards by going really fast. And what's stopping us from doing that? Can't go fast enough yet. I learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can actually travel forwards in time. Like the closer you go to the speed of light, the faster the other people's time goes compared to yours. So like if you go- Are you going slower sp- in time? Yeah. 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 But it's like if you travel close to the speed of light, watch the movie Lightyear by Pixar. It explains it very well. That Buzz Light? Yeah. Wow. I know that like, yeah, if you go to space and you come back, then you're, you're younger than everyone who's here. Yeah. But imagine that at a very large scale. Like you go really fast and then you're way younger than everyone else, like thousands of years younger. It's like you've gone into the future. Does that make sense? That's sick. But then you can't really go back according to what we know. We need to go slower. Yeah. No such thing as negative (laughs) speed, unfortunately. That's the problem. That's why we do all our podcasts (laughs) sitting down, trying to move as little as possible. (laughs) It's so that we can be young. (laughs) 
go no, that would be make us old. Oh shit. We need to be moving faster. Do you reckon Usain's bolt is gonna live? Is the youngest man? Because he yeah, runs. Yeah, I reckon. So. I mean, so fast. technically, <laughs> technically, it depends whether he's doing that in his day to day life. Yeah, or if he just sort of it brings might, it out for the Olympics. It might be an ultra marathon runner. They might be the youngest person. True. No, no, no. Formula One driver. Ooh, Ooh that's good. We're yeah. thinking too slow. Yeah, what about like planes? When you go on a plane, are you Ooh, technically time travel? Yeah. Pilots. Pilots. Holy shit, pilots are always moving fast. No wonder they, they always smash in the air hostesses because they're actually young. Yeah. Even they're though they're virile. Yeah. Is that a well-known <laughs> fact? Uh, I think it's a stereotype. I don't think it's air. actually true. <laughs> but I think pilots are known to be players because they're always traveling and they're never at home with their wives and shit. So I think that might be a controversial job. They need a wifey appreciation day. Yeah. And Wi-Fi. Bringing that one back. <laughs> yeah. um, so what do we give Zach's answer out of 10? Jordan, I thought you learned something in the end after a <coughs> No, I didn't. Him. I already knew about the, the flying thing. Oh, so really a rubbish answer from Zach. Pretty much a zero. It's a 1.8. <laughs> <It's a zero. laughs> we got to downgrade me from person to just like piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I don't get another question. I'll yeah. give it a nine. I just because I agree with it. We don't know what Thanks, time man. is yet. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Jordan? We don't know what time is yet. We need to figure it out. You know, we don't know. Do you guys reckon we need to make like a macroscope? Do you reckon that's the issue? Yeah. Like we're looking, <laughs> like we're always making microscopes where you look, you look in close mm. and you're like, you see more shit than you thought. Like there's atoms and stuff. I think we need to go backwards. I think we need a macroscope and we might figure more stuff out. So what does a macroscope do? Well, I don't know. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> or something. But what would it in theory do? It would zoom out. How would that work? <laughs> exactly. Well, like, you, if you look at this picture, Mario, yeah, 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 you wouldn't believe the stuff that's going on in there. In, inside it, you yeah. mean with a microscope? Yeah, <laughs> like an atom. So you want to zoom out, and we won't believe what we see. Exactly. We might see but like what would we you... might see time for what it is. We so might like, see aliens. So how are we going to take a photo of like what our galaxy? What? That's a macroscope, right? We would take a photo of so our galaxy. It's our the whole, whole galaxy. galaxy. Maybe. Like a really wide angle lens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on board, Jordan, but I'm just going to have to correct your terminology so that like this can take off. Yeah. Yep. Macro means you can see it with the naked eye, so it's going to be a new word. Oh. So if we got micro, yep. then we have macro. What word do you have for things that are too, instead of too small to be seen with the naked eye, too large to be seen by the naked eye? Um, Gigantoscope. Okay, we're going to make a gigantoscope. Mm -hmm. So we'll get our best scientists on that. Because I don't, even if I shove my eyeball, I've got a piece of plastic in my hand. If I shove my eyeball towards it, I can't see shit. Yeah. So there's stuff going on. You've got to go. Your microscope. Zoom in. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we just got to do the opposite. Right. Gigantoscope. My next question, I think. Yeah. All right, Jordan, would you like to have one about Darwinism or The Matrix? The, oh, Matrix. the Matrix. Go on. Matrix. I was going to say, the Darwinism one would probably kill me if I had to be quiet. We already did Darwinism, didn't we? Yeah, kind of. <coughs> Hello, Dr. Ridley. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hello, Dr. So he Wait, he gets, gets to be a doctor. doctor. Hold the phone. No, you tried to upgrade yourself. That's yeah, your problem. Fair. Well, the other one was Professor Jordan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even Zach. <laughs> he changed it. All right. Hello, Dr. Ridley. Would you be able to theorize on why we are not or are or we are in the Matrix or some sort of simulation? Um, so why are or aren't we in a simulation? Why? Oh, this is a stupid question. Who knows? I don't know. Um, this is the problem with these things. It's like, I don't know. But, um, you okay. would be the worst philosopher. Let's just say we are. All right. In one. Okay, yeah, we're in one. Yep. Now You've seen the movie. Now what? We're in it. What? Wait till someone Why are you asking me this? Pills? What, is what are you talking about? Okay, <laughs> so we're remember a, everyone, we're if a stranger offers you pills, you got to take it. You're asking me that. that's what happens in the movie. To have an educated guess if we're in a matrix or not. No, why are we or aren't we? Why do you think we are or aren't in one? I don't think, but... I was thinking. Okay, why second. don't you think we are? Oh, I see what you're no, saying. No, no, Sorry. I don't think. Don't think I don't it. think they're it even not. more <laughs> <laughs> Jordan does not exist, guys. <laughs> we should get Jordan doing this. Yeah. I do not think. Therefore, I am not. Um, well, so there's two situations here. One, we've evolved further than what we are, and then we're in a little game. That's the Matrix one, yeah? Which sounds more likely than the other one because the other one is where the most advanced thing we know and that's probably pretty unlikely. So you would think more likely would be the Matrix thing. Yeah. 
Not a bad answer. He's kind of cooking. That yeah, would be you my, were cooking a little bit. He I touched on an, some concepts. Give that an eight point five, and I'm scared out of ten. Yeah, mm. but it'd be hard to figure it out. Like, can the Sims figure out that they're Sims? <laughs> yeah, I wonder this. That's going down about, to an eight. <laughs> how I talked about the existential crisis I had when the Sims started playing The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole thing. In The Sims, you can play The Sims. No, like, your characters can play The that. Sims. So then no. it's like, am I being told? Yeah, how many layers deep is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're not going around talking like, hey, go me. Yeah, well, that's what they probably think someone else sound like. Yeah, yeah. for the aliens, oh, we probably fuck. sound like that. You ever seen a foreign person? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's might be talking Sim, Sim language. Have you heard English if you don't know what English is? Have you yeah, seen those videos? Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. It does sound like Sim speak. Yeah. Oh, fuck. We're in a simulation. No, the Sims are really good at that. Do you know the Sim sounds different no matter what? Like in different languages? They've got yeah. languages for all the Sims. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah what do you guys think? You guys want to, got an answer or not? Uh, I'm going to go with no. Optimistic. No, no reason. I just really don't want to be in a simulation. Oh, okay. I think that like the your your heart wants to say no, but your head wants to say yes mm. because it's like wouldn't your you heart know, want yes to be in a simulation? Yeah, because then like something happens after, guaranteed. Ah, uh, not necessarily. Like when the when you turn off your computer, do you reckon the Sims are still hanging out? Ooh, poor Sims. <laughs> so I'm thinking like it makes you think if there is a real world and they can like how many. How many real worlds are there if our world is a real world? Like, one. How many versions, how many games of The Sims are there? Millions. So if if we can simulate consciousness, mm. odds are you're in a simulation. No, we're not in a simulation. That's the op- that's your, what your heart want wants to, to say. I that to be the message of the podcast. No matter the answer, it's all absurd anyway. It doesn't anyway. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't yeah. change what you should do in your day-to-day life. It doesn't matter. All oh. of it is absurd. Do you want to try and back up your point or you've got nothing to really... Well, it's- not really. It's, it's <laughs> very hard to back up the fact that we're not yeah. in a simulation. Well, but I, I just don't want to sound like one of those podcasts of the conspiracy theorists who like dead ass believe that like. Well, it's not like conspiracy theory. And they like theory. point out Matrix like. It's it's like it's literally like I don't think you should change your life because when people go off the deep end of this stuff, they start saying like, "Oh, so what? Do I just walk down the road and shoot someone because it's not real?" And I'm like, "No, it still has real consequences to you, yeah. whether it's a simulation or not. It's it shouldn't change what you do. It's your your existence still is the same to you in your own perspective. It's a hypothetical question that shouldn't really change how you feel." I think so it, it shouldn't bother you too much, Zach. I think just it should be a know. change for the better, if anything. It's like, oh, well, if this doesn't matter, then let's do whatever I want. No, it In a good way. In a good way, I think. I never yeah. think about this. Yeah. Well, it's bothering you right now that you're thinking about it. No, I just don't want to sound like a... <laughs> no, because nothing matters anyway. Because, yeah. like, if it was, so based if it was real, it doesn't make sense. Like, yeah. how can you have a consciousness? It doesn't Dude, make sense. who gives a shit, eh? Yeah. yeah. How can a Yolo. universe exist? Yolo, who started right. it? It doesn't make sense. Adam and Even Eve. Even if Adam and Eve started, who started them? God. Who started God? You keep going back well, you and see, up. They it had all doesn't two make penis sense. and two good vags <laughs> yeah, yeah. up in a spacecraft. Uh, if you want to, if you want to think we're not in a simulation, Zach, the best way to think that is that it's impossible to simulate consciousness. Done. So if Boom. if you think it's impossible to simulate consciousness, then we're not in a simulation. So yeah, you're all it good. Is impossible. Because cool. that's the only thing you can be sure of is that your consciousness exists. That's the I think. Therefore, I am. And if that's oh. impossible to simulate, then we can't be in a simulation. Weep, yippee. Can't spell impossible without sim. Uh, you can. I guess. Someone's given us a science game, not a question. Oh, let's do wow. it. Would you like to play? Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Aether. I want Peter to assume the role of a flat earther and bombard Jordan with arguments on why the earth is flat and then see Jordan oh, try no. to disprove them. I will adjudicate. So, Jordan. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm so, good. if people choose to say that, you know, we're on this sphere. <laughs> I know, right? And then Jokes. there's other celestial bodies moving around us and we're also moving around something. Yep. Why doesn't the gravity of these other celestial bodies move us? Like, why on some days do you not feel lighter because the sun's above you? Like, why are we not lighter during the day? Bro, what are you talking about? I'm saying why are we not lighter during the day? Because the sun is above you. Should it not be sucking you up off the earth with this imaginary sphere shit? The gravity. 
of the sun should be pulling you from the, the earth. The sun's gravity should be pulling me from earth. And no, making you effectively lighter. Because I'm so close to earth that the gravity of earth pulls me more. Yeah, but the sun is very large. Yeah, but it's far away. It's very far. Yeah, but it's very large. Very, very far. Though. Yeah, very, very large. So far. It's hundreds and thousands of times heavier than the earth. It's big though. As the adjudicator, I might have to say, one of you's got to mix the argument up. Okay. Okay. I, I agree no, okay. it's far away. Yeah. And I don't think it should be like making you fly off the earth, <laughs> but you should be at least like 1% lighter. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we are. I haven't weighed myself. Ooh, we'll give it a shot. Checkmate, flat earther. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We'll He's agreed a- with me. We'll go- I don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. All right, great. All right, so when you're seeing, a, when you're like, you, you ever see cruise ships on the horizon or sh- tanker ships? Because we do live in a coastal city. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Why can't you only see the top half of them if the earth is round? Because surely they'd be going off the side. Well, probably for some, you can if they're that far. Well, have you ever seen that? Surely. Maybe. But have you? Mm. Think about it. No, surely. That's assuming the earth is round, which is ridiculous. Let me have a think here. When have you ever seen just the top half of a ship? <sighs> you've got me. You've got me there. Yeah, checkmate. Okay, speaking of the ocean. But I think because if something's that far away, it must be so small because it's very far away. Yeah, but there's very big ships. <laughs> so far. I hate this. <laughs> I'm in purgatory. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Why big- is every argument? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> right, speaking of the ocean, if the Earth is round, why doesn't it just fall off? So. the uh, it's gravity again, bro. I think okay. Look. Then why doesn't the earth, why doesn't the sun suck it off? Because oh. gravity again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we gotta we gotta take a big step out. No why one's do jump you on think that suck it off in you end? <laughs> okay, we could. You're giving me a few points here, but they're very selective points. You should be countering my points about the the circleness. All right, tell me. So, why would they even lie about it? Why would they even lie about it? Yeah, like they've they've gone up, they've taken a picture. It's a circle. What's wrong with that? Because they don't want you to ex- go to the underside. What's on the underside? Well, uh, I wish I knew, but we don't. they don't let us go there. Then you should go do that. Well, that's what they're hiding. It's all because the government's trying to hide things from us. Why don't you do that then? Well, go go I, fly. I, I can't go that far. I don't own a plane. Uh, I think when we, I get on a plane, I someone else we, is flying it and they're in on it. <laughs> oh, and they, they fly you back around in I a think circle. We have they to do. Move on. Oh, my God. This argument is just Jordan like, well, if you think that, I guess. <laughs> My goodness. Sorry, I cannot. Who do you have to award a winner? I got told to do this. I This was <laughs> no, not my choice. I, I know. Who do you have to award a winner? Who are you giving it to? Well, I think it's, I guess it's Peter because Jordan was sort of agreeing with a lot. <laughs> well done, Peter. All right, we'll settle it then. It's flat. Let's make clap. And right. that is the science segment for this week. Wow. We got to ask Jordan some questions. If you want to be able to ask Jordan questions or ask us any questions in general, go to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash underdogs. Underdogs. Wow, what a moment. This next segment is called. I'm gonna say Bill do this. I'm gonna say people do this. I'm gonna say people do this. Can I, everyone in the audience, if you're at home, if you're by yourself, just give yourself a. I'm gonna say people do this. And just how do, do you, it? And you spell do this D U D I W S. Even if there's one person around, if there's someone that you know well, just do it anyway. What's that? You're on a public train. Go ahead. I'm gonna say people do this. I'm gonna say people do I'm this. Do this. <laughs> Should we mention it that we find it funny because one of the TikToks we posted on Underdog starts with. It's less funny with context. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say people do Actually, this. Actually, it's really funny with context. <laughs> Go check yeah. out our TikTok. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, underdogs.com. No, wait, what? It's like Underdog <laughs> YouTube on TikTok. Underdog YouTube on TikTok. We'll put it in the description <laughs> of this. Jackson. Why did we do that? Jackson, put it in the description <laughs> of this. Yeah, I'll put it in the description. And there <laughs> might even be YouTube shorts. We don't know. All right. So how does the game work, Peter? The game works by you say, <laughs> I've seen people do this. And then you say one word. Yeah. Just and something you've been seeing people do. Agree or not. And then agree we need to discuss. Yeah. We need to discuss. I need an example. This is like right. when you first All get right. the board Should game instructions is too much. Start. I've been seeing people do this. Crochet. Yeah, I have been seeing people do that. Yeah, my sister do likes this. crochet. Yeah. Crochet. What's what's your thoughts on crochet, Zach? Yeah, Maddie likes crochet. Yeah? I think Ooh, all the maybe. people that like crochet are younger than us, which is alarming. Mm, older than us is knitting. Yeah. Wait, what's the difference? One's with a hook and the other one's with needles. Man, we missed the Needles pack. is hook? The boomers are knitting, the zoomers are crocheting, and I've got no woolen related Yeah, activities. all we have is like Reddit. <laughs> that's, that's fun. Though. We really... No, it's not. R we, slash crochet. Those are the worst types of threads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. Good call. Thanks, man. That was really good. I've been seeing people do this reading. What's the deal with books? I I bought a book. 
and I'm looking forward to reading. <laughs> Wait, it. so have you been seeing other people reading? Though? I've been seeing people like people just. Read. I've been noticing people reading in cafes. Like what, like Young people, yeah. Cafes? Just people, but yeah. Um, see, I think there's a bit of a movement now against your phone. Have you yeah, guys noticed this? Definitely. Just sort of my feed. No, nah, I've been seeing people do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing people do this. Yeah. Eating while driving in an unsafe way. Yeah. Like. If you're going to eat while you drive, let's just have it be an apple. Yeah. I've seen people with like a bowl of cereal. And I'm like, oh what God. are you doing? Someone's got two oh hands on a God. burger. And like, yeah. Have yeah, you ever done the thing where the you, like, you might need to like open a drink or something? So you steer with your elbows for a little bit because you got to use both hands. I don't think I've ever done that. No, I, mean, I put it in my lap and just do one hand. Yeah. 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 Well, I've done that briefly, like steering with the elbows. Oh or my sometimes gosh. auto steering <laughs> in the Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. <laughs> nice. Tesla. Yeah, I've been eating cereal every day, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, what if, what if someone just like whipped out a knife and fork and just started going to town while they're driving? Yeah, once I remember eating a burrito and it started, you know, when it gets messy. Yeah. Oh, and I was yeah. like, I'm going to have to pull over because this <laughs> is our <laughs> situation. Yeah. What, what food do you reckon is just unacceptable to eat while driving? Taco. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Taco is like ash. a burrito, but it gets messy on the first bite, not oh, the last Like a hard taco. Oh, the worst. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. Is soft taco a fake thing i think that our version of mexican food is completely fucked <laughs> yeah like i think that our, what we consider a taco is not a taco right i think it's something else but i don't know the and word for it nobody because... wants to talk about it nice <laughs> no that didn't deserve <laughs> a fist bump jackson see if we'll do this roman empire <laughs> elaborate how do you do that <laughs> this has been what? a trend it's been a trend lately that's been going around because holly asked me well let me ask you guys how how often do you think of the roman empire I am going to sound out of place, but not very often. Very rarely. Well, once, how often? Once every three months. Oh, that's pretty rare. I might say like once a month. It's pretty good. Maybe a bit more frequently, but not much more. Zach? Mine was like once a year, but then... Oh, man. Um, in Turkey, I was thinking about it a lot. Oh, they, is that where they are? They were everywhere, man. Well, it depends how much you like listen to history stuff and like, you know, like when I was listening to philosophy podcasts, I was thinking about all the, all yeah, the goddamn it comes time. Up. I don't know how it comes up so often then. I it's think that's part why. of a white person history, to be honest. Yeah. It's been a trend on TikTok. Girlfriends asking their boyfriends, like, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? And what do they say? Uh, like w once a week. And then the girl just like loses their mind. But it was, it was so funny. Yeah. Because I was, I said this before the podcast, but it was like this girl interviewer for the UFC was asking UFC fighters and they're all like, every day. <laughs> I think of the yeah, Roman they, they, Empire. Because they always think about like the art of war and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, that's where a war tactics were developed and all that stuff. Yeah, so exactly. like what? some of the best tacticians of all time, because obviously it was one of the best empires of all time. So obviously they had some good fighting tactics. Once a day. <laughs> It might be a bit of PR, <laughs> Getting a Caesar salad doesn't count, right? <laughs> 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 like, when you say thinking of the Roman Empire, I think more than... The, like, think about battle tactics. That's crazy. Battle tactics, just like warriors, just like... A lot of philosophers. Fell. A lot of fighters are also into philosophy. Yeah, because a lot of philosophers are from the Roman Empire. Yeah. Isn't Marcus Aurelius? Is that Roman Empire? Yep. Yeah. I mean, some people do this. Huh. Wearing jorts. Have you actually? Yeah. What is a jort? Jean shorts. Oh, Jordan yeah. short. Jordan short. <laughs> short Jordans. <laughs> when I was young. You should get some Jordans. What do you think about that? Uh, horrendous. Yeah. But Wait, apparently really? it's coming back in. It's like in the same vein as crochet. Something I'm too old for. And I'm like, so what the fuck? Yeah, things sort of have a roundabout way of existing, don't What's they? What's wrong with Jordans? What's not wrong with Jordans? You're well, wearing whole jeans. Yeah, that's fine. They're jogs. And you're trying to rip them. You're probably trying to make them into jorts, I'm, but you failed. I'm doing my best, but I just can't do it, bro. I'm not, I'm not cool enough. <laughs> I want jorts. I want jorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sure, surely jorts are better. All right. Well, I want some jorts for your birthday, Jordan. Well, in summer, I still don't know yeah. what they are. Jean shorts. So I told you. What does that mean? Je oh, Jean. Jordan, God. have your best guess. So just you have to what jeans are. He's about to have a good guess. Are. He's about to have a really good guess. Cut them off at shorts. Yeah. Well, they just come as shorts. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with okay, that? I'm getting you them for Christmas, and you have to wear them on the pod. Is there something wrong with them? No. But like, do they look just, a bit weird? They're just a bit of a fashion statement. They're in. So they're good. Have you ever seen someone wearing them? It's like cargo oh, pants no. or like three quarter pants. You know, it's just a bit of a. They're a bit of a faux pas in the past 10 years. I used to wear jean shorts all the time. I don't know what faux pas. Yeah, they're back, Zach. So you can Ooh. dust them off. Faux pas, man. Do you, do you have them? jean shorts? Do you have them? Uh, no, I definitely didn't keep them. Oh. Dude, we should all get jorts and wear them on the pod. Dude, we should jorts, have a jorts pod. pod. Should we go jorts shopping after this, boys? Yeah, sure. Are they like 70s kind of No, they're like knee, kind of... past the knee length. Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, we could, I get what you mean now. We could make a TikTok where it's like, I've been seeing people doing this jorts and then it cuts to us all wearing jorts. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go. So you say it again and we'll go, oh, that sounds interesting. Do I have to do that? I've been seeing people do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've seen people do this. Oh, jorts. Oh, Ooh, that where, sounds fun. Yeah, jorts. I, I love jorts. I I think I'm gonna start wearing jorts. Let's get some jorts. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And we all have to like put on some jorts and then like all, right. all yeah, sit yeah. down yeah, on yeah. the couch. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was going to find four pairs of jorts yes, after this. Go to Salvo. Looks down and screams. Put it down on the uh, underdog's card. <laughs> Babe, I saw it's a work expense. It's like, why you have four pairs of jorts? I don't have to pay tax on these. <laughs> jorts. Trackies over jorts, someone says. Yeah, trackies are elite. I would say people do this. Um, oh, I don't know if this is one. normal, but t- the TikTok dance to Doja Cat's like devil song. You know the new one. Paint the, the town red. TikTok. Paint the town red. I haven't yeah, seen it. Yeah, do you it. know it? No. Well, I've been seeing people do the dance to it. Can you do has the this? Dance? Has this always been a thing where like they do the exact same dance and yeah. everyone just does the same dance? Yep. And then the same person does the same Isn't dance, but TikTok in different was? locations. That's so fucking boring. And different outfits. I, I See, that's TikTok... never been the TikTok I've watched. I thought that's what TikTok started as. Yeah, that's I what think... girls watch. No, I thought people like put their own spin on it or like came up with their own routine. But it's just the same thing. Isn't that what Char- Charlie hey, that's what all of them is? Are. That what it is? Like the even the popular. comedy on there, I swear like to God, Bella it's the Porch same thing. and, you know, they're all, all the no, giant some, TikTokers. Some of the comedy's good. Dance, yeah. Some, like, some. I do agree. But there's, I've seen ones that are the same voiceover, oh, just yeah. acted out by different people. But I think that's the appeal, right? Is that anyone can go viral on it because you really don't have to be talented. <laughs> that's so shit. So what but that's why been... people like, that's why so many people upload on it. Yeah. So I think I've yeah. just discovered just like how bad the repeating stuff is yeah because i've also been getting one that's like seeing him tonight it's a bad idea right seeing him tonight you know that you guys don't know <laughs> but the audience so will insane. yeah this sounds yeah. like an insane person it's thing. like but do you keep watching them it's a song that's like uh it's a bad idea right seeing him tonight and then they will do it to like other stuff yeah you, literally it's there like, is thousands if not millions of using for me, the same sound it'll be what's, like what's playing playing elite smash right it's like like gonna try playing smash online and it's like it's a bad idea right and it's like seeing him tonight it's a bad idea right then it'll show me playing smash online it's basically it's like, people I did it anyway doing things that they know oh. they shouldn't do and yeah. they use all the same bit and it's like they'll slightly adapt it right so but what then, what what are ones you've seen what have you been what have you been seeing people do this uh, the Doja Cat. <laughs> people do the this. Doja Cat one. Oh, yeah, I've been seeing the Paint the Town Red ones, but then like, but I do think you I keep watched one of them? the dancers because then I realized like the thing was like they were doing devil ears, and then I was like, oh, it like relates to the song, and then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> then I think I watched one, and then I got like another four. Well, no, should should we learn TikTok <laughs> dances for next week? Is that we our need strat? To restart the podcast. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, Zach. What would you like to learn the paint the town paint the, paint the town red no. dance with me, and we will use it to go viral? No fucking way. You really don't want to go viral that much. You can do it. No, we have to do it together. People do love Why? it though. Hey, dance. Because that's how it, what, you're seeing it. So me and Peter have to do it together, but Jackson and Jordan somehow get out of Scott Well, I know they couldn't. We'll be the cameramen. Yeah, we'll be cameramen. Have you? <laughs> I'll be a cameraman. Can you imagine these I two? I actually know the most about cameras, so when are you guys got to dance? I don't. I'm uh, busy. Jordan. I'm away. I'm away. I'm going away. I you can't. Going Otherwise, away. I really would do it. Man, that was a mo- more excited than your actual being for the holiday. <laughs> was finding out you got to miss the TikTok. <laughs> So you guys are going to do a dance? God, I wish I could be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like no, I said, I'm going I'll away. And then we'll do a TikTok and then... All right, so you guys are going to learn the dance. It I sounds like it's just me. I agreed to this. So who's, who's the doing... audience who likes to just watch a dance on TikTok? Because we're not in it. Apparently there must be so it many It must be people. massive because that's the biggest people. They do I the dance. It's, it's teenage girls. girls. It's girls. Teenage girls. I don't think it's it is. A bit I of think a it's a bit of old men. No, oh. no. but like, Well, surely it's a bit of a multi. Jackson's seen my TikTok. It's a bit of a multi-audience. It's a bit of a multi-audience grabber. It has but to be. Jackson, a lot of them are like that I've seen that really pop off are like cute couple memes. Uh huh. And it's like you know like teenage girls hyper fantasizing about like their ideal relationship oh. and like they're Keanu looking in the at these said me me people looking at these like cute girls and being like I wish that was me not. I'm being creepy. Do you know what I mean? Like they idolize these people. Oh, you can't find a good guy. You have to fantasize about the two that exist <laughs> yeah. in the whole world. Well, like back in our day, we had Twilight for them to froth over, and now they have right. TikTok. You know, it's like it's the huh. shit like that. 
Yeah. When are they going to start frothing over like underdogs videos? <laughs> <laughs> that would be really convenient. <laughs> Shout I out to underdog I, edits on TikTok. I want to do the TikTok thing more than Maddie does. The dances? Yeah. You want to do the dance? We'll, we'll do it with like, Peter. Well, was, Zach, it's, the offer is right no, here. No. What, I, what is this? What's happening? Wait, what do you mean? You want to do like the cute, like... No, it's like I, I see a couple like... There's some funny couples on TikTok that don't just like repeat the same shit that like actually right. do some And you and Maddie are going to start And I've got that. like some... Well, like I want Maddie to be doing it and then right. to get me involved, but she just doesn't have an interest in it, and I don't really either. But then I wouldn't mind her being like, "Sounds hey, like you do." Sounds like you do. Yeah. So like you want to be TikTok famous, but you don't want to no, do the work. If you do it, then it looks like you're trying. He wants to be reluctantly pulled into doing these uh, couple TikToks. No, no, no. It's like reluctant, but I'm secretly like. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. I get into it, and yes. Because I do get into stuff. I, I see. I mean, but then it's like, I don't have the time to launch that TikTok. So yeah. I'm like, oh, Maddie. <laughs> but she doesn't want to. Yeah, but you want her to do it so you don't have to be the one to want to do it. Well, like, I wouldn't... I would. I, it's like I wouldn't mind her doing it. I don't want her to. The I human want her to do whatever she wants to do, which... Zach is a confusing person. Yeah, the human brain is insane. Do you no, want it or like, not? Yes, but if Maddie doesn't want to, then I'm not going to tell her to. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I'm what just I'm trying saying. to say, like, yeah, right. It's obviously, not that. my choice. But I'm like, oh, if you did have a TikTok, I would be in it. Yes, like, I'd be. <laughs> We're on the same page. I'd no, be the coolest boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know. Speaking of, um, I'm a pretty cool boyfriend. Do you want, let's. What would one look like? What What are you picturing? I don't know what this content. Oh, is. we actually see. Like, we often do the TikTok games. We just don't get any of the clout from it. We just do it for fun. Like what? There was one where they play a song and it's like every start of the beat you like you close your eyes and you hold up a number between one and five yeah and it's like you and your partner like trying to get the same number it's like dumb tiktok stuff but it's pretty fun to just do. i <laughs> don't <laughs> understand <laughs> anything the look jackson just gave me is one of the funniest <laughs> things i've ever seen like zach's in this full story jackson's like it it was like I was like I was the camera in the office (laughs) what what is wrong I think Jackson was waiting for the game to have a point what is yeah what is the point of any of this it's something that takes 10 seconds and it's like mildly amusing like oh maybe you'll get the same numbers yeah it's a bit of fun I get it (laughs) yeah 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 I think I get it now I'm sorry I wish I could be a part of it I just don't I I I watch TikTok and I, I just don't get it. It's legitimately the same level of intellectual stimulation as the kids to where you press a button and a noise comes out. You know what I mean? It's like, yep. But that's fine. You can start making beats on that. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's just like sometimes the numbers are the same and then you're like, uh, yeah. Well, you never played like a quick game of like, um, what's it? The fingers like moving between your hands. Yeah, but that's a strategy game. That's actually like you have to try and yeah, but win. It's just like, it's just maybe like try a to little strategize game to have fun together. Sync up with your partner. No, I get it. I'm, I'm not, just not knocking it. I just don't understand. Like alley. you're knocking it? No, I, no, no, no. It's just, just clearly not up Jackson's alley. I just, I can't, uh, yeah. Anyway, we like, but the thing is like, cause you have your eyes closed, you have to film it. So I've got a video of us doing that, but it's not. Oh, uploaded and then you see, cause it's like, maybe you got, you were so in sync that you got the same numbers every time. And you know what? We... We both did like three fingers. I'm going to explain it in hyper detail yeah. now just for you, Jackson. Perfect. First one, we both held up three fingers. We got the same. Then I did five and she did one. Right. Then she did five and I did one. Oh. And then we both got two on the last one. Wow. So we just got the middle two switch, but we were very close. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson looks like he's hanging out to watch this, Zach. Upload this right now and then send it to Jackson. Right now. Right now. I don't think it deserves to be uploaded. It's just a bit of fun for it's a like, few seconds. Yeah, but like other people, I don't get that content on my TikTok. Maddie had <laughs> it on her like watches reels. this? Right, so I Maddie, Maddie, got Maddie found it. I, I yeah. can imagine doing the game for 10 seconds of fun, but why do you want to watch a couple you don't know do this? Because if well, you're lonely. I think it's like the oh. couples have other oh. things and then it's just one of those like addicting, like you see it start and you want to see the answer. So that's why those things blow up. Yeah, I guess. I just that. like, if it was people I knew, it'd be like, haha, look, they're like, interacting with each other in a fun way, but it's when people I don't know, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but then you follow them for a bit and then you do know them. Oh, it's a parasocial God. relationship. Yeah, I guess it? so. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not on board for parasocial relationships. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. It's like uh, people it's be- would watch us and then they'd be like, I'd rather play Smash with my friends. Why would I watch these four idiots play Smash? <laughs> yeah. ju- that's pretty much what you just described. No, no, but we have the epic banter. Whereas in, <laughs> is there epic banter in your game with Maddie? Um, I'd say that is the appeal, right? It's not the game itself. It's the epic bands. Also, there's like editing put into that. Uh, I don't know. 
Oh, anyway. I'm just I was going to say, um, we're old. I think you're just critiquing if we, TikTok as a whole. If yeah. we need any yeah, TikTok tips, uh, Kiana's in the chat. Her boyfriend's very big on, uh, not boyfriend, her brother. Sorry, whoopsie. Her brother. <laughs> That's a big whoopsie. <laughs> Should we clarify that to yeah. us? Sorry, we'll cut it out. <laughs> <They're> my bad. <laughs> also, she has a girlfriend and a boyfriend. So it's a massive whoopsie. It's a big whoopsie. Huge, <laughs> humongo whoopsie. You got so Christ. close. She has so far away. Going red for real. <laughs> Hey, next Sharpedo Tank. Actually, I think my story's over. <laughs> next Sharpedo Tank, we will be drawing the Pokemon ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kiana. My bad. My mega bad. Right, so her, her brother, brother is quite big on TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's the story. Good thing. <laughs> I'm just saying we have someone who can tell us how to do TikToks. We have two degrees of separation, okay? What does her brother do? What does he do? Yeah, and now he... I'm nervous to say brother. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get it brother. Yeah. He does a bunch of different stuff, but it's like a lot of um. Very cool. He makes Pokemon out of food. Uh, oh. And they look really cool, like purple rice and stuff. When that's his main, so not can, main, his most like, recent very big thing. Not out of chocolate though, right? Nah. I've seen a guy that makes like dope shit out They're of like, chocolate. They're uh, like, you know, like bentos? You know, oh, those like really cool looking yeah. bentos, similar to that. See, I can understand that. That makes sense. They're cool. Me. And he also is just a very pretty looking dude. So I oh, think that, that gives you a lot of points. Like he's a good looking bloke. Yeah, for sure. Jackson, the thing is there is like, 80% of people on planet earth yeah. that like are not that into Pokemon and they're just like really you're making like I think it's higher than video no, game at characters least into food even like, if what it's a waste like time. Naruto characters which I don't care about I can be like oh I can understand why you would enjoy right, that I just like cannot cool... comprehend watching couples put up fingers and finding <laughs> that fun but I, I don't know <laughs> I think it's just like all the couple TikToks like they have some interesting ones but then 70% of the stuff is just following trends, which those accounts also do, because why right. the fuck wouldn't you? Right. Yeah, yeah you just capitalise on the trends. And I'm then not whatever. knocking the creators. I'm knocking the consumers. <laughs> I think the consumers are like 13-year-old <laughs> girls who are like, oh, I wish I had yeah, a boy. Yeah. It's like saying, like, I don't like the way Twilight's written. It's yeah. not for you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, you're allowed to say it's bad. But even, I, I, this is my whole thing, is I can understand enjoying Twilight. I don't, but I can get it. I do not... I'm old man ranching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, love so I love it. I don't get it. Because what if you just want a boy who would play hand games with you? <laughs>